Greetings, friend. I will show you a piece of Sudoku logic that will make your jaw drop and why the green cell is so important for you to solve. Click below to give this puzzle a go. With that, it's solving time. Okay, the only cell that we could solve pretty easily here is in column two. You see how this five right here? And there's no possibility for five in those cells. And you can't have a five here because of this five. Only place left for a five in column two is right there. Welcome to Smart Hobbies. If you're new, subscribe and click the bell for notifications if you want to turn your passing interest in Sudoku into a fun and enjoyable hobby. If you work through the rest of this puzzle and put in Snyder notation and other types of markings, you will not get very far or solve any other cells unless you do what I'm about to show you here. We want to focus on rows two and eight and columns two and eight. What could be here in column two to finish up? We can have a one, two, or a six. That can't be a six. And this can't be a two. Now look across row two. We need a one, two, three, and a nine. Okay, this can be a, can't be a one. And it can't be a two. So that's got to be a three or a nine. This is going to be a two or a three. And this is going to be a 1, 2, or 9. Let's look down column 8 now. We have a 1, 3, 7, 8, 9. We need a 2, 4, 5, 6. So 2, 4, 5, 6. This can't be a 5 because of what's in the block already. This can't be a 2 or a 4. It gives us a 5, 6. This can't be a 4 or a 5. And then down here, we can't have this as a 2. Or a six. Okay, look across row eight. We have a one, two, six, seven, eight. We need three, four, five, nine. All right, and we'll notice because of the four and a five, we have a three, nine right there. We got a five, nine already in the column, so that's going to be a three, four, and we already have a four right there. So that's a three, five, nine. You notice we have a lot of by value cells, uh, BVCs, I call them, and that leads to more advanced strategies. And in fact, three good, five you, but a beautiful logic here. I'm going to show you this in just a bit here. Notice right here, if you start in this cell, that's a one or two, right? You notice this cell is a two, three, and then this is a three, four. This is a four, five. This is a five, six. And then it kind of comes back here and restarts to a one. One and a six, here, right? So if this was a one, You'd see one, this would be a two, this would be a three, this would be a four, this would be a five, this would be a six. If that's a two, then this is a three, that's a four, that's a five, that's a six, and that's a one. You'll notice that there's only two possibilities, right, for each of these, and they come back on each other. Okay, what we have here is a beautiful X, Y chain. Whenever you have two uh, by value cells that link up in a chain, that's an X, Y chain. If it was open, let's say you started here and then you ended in this cell, then you can make eliminations based off of whatever the shared candidate is for any cell that sees both of them. So you can make an elimination right there. In this case, since it goes all the way up to six and it cuts right back to one, that's called a continuous loop. And this is awesome stuff because it's really kind of easy to see, right? You only have two possibilities for each of those. Cell. So we know, you know, this is going to be a one or six. It's going to be a one or two. It's going to be a two or a three. And you can use that to make some eliminations. Since we know this has got to be a one or a six, that's a one or a two. So either, you know, this is a one. If that's not a one, this is going to end up being a one. We can eliminate the one from right there. We can eliminate any of these candidates that are in between the by value cell. So a two's got to be here or here. You can eliminate a two from this cell right there. All right, threes here, here. You can eliminate all the threes up column five because this these two are, uh, have to be a four. You can eliminate the fours across there. You could eliminate the fives across there. And then you could eliminate the sixes across row five there. Awesome. And so that creates, like I said, a X, Y chain and a continuous loop. You can learn more about X, Y chains in my tutorial. Now, you just did a continuous loop XY chain to make some eliminations here. 
You can make another XY chain in this puzzle, starting with this cell, using just the cells that I filled out, and you can make an elimination that will solve this green cell and tell you whether it's a two or a three. If you're able to spot that, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I answer every single comment. However, there is another way to work through this logically. The setter's intended solve path is so amazing, it's gonna make your jaw drop. I'm gonna show you that right now. Consider this cell, what could this be? It can't be a two, five, eight, or nine. It can't be a seven. It can only be a one, three, four, or a six. Now you could eliminate the three and the six by using that continuous loop I just showed you. However, if we did some logic here and said, what happens if this was a one? I'm gonna show you something here. That's a one, that's a two, that's a three, that's a four, that's a five, that's a six. You'll notice that not one, not two, not three, but all four candidates in this scenario of the loop would look into this cell right here. And you'd have to eliminate all four of those and you have nothing to put in row five, column five. This is awesome because it creates a contradiction and then we know this can't be a one, that can't be a three. So if you looked at that center cell and did that logic, you can go, okay, we know this can't be a one, that can't be a three, this then has to be your six and we can solve our continuous loop that way. Either way, that or the XY chain will get you to solve this green cell. If you want exclusive monthly reward puzzle packs using strategies like XY chains, click on the pinned comment to join the Smarty Party. For a limited time, members can download all of my 2023 puzzle packs for free, but you got to join now before they're gone. I'm going to be removing them very soon. Either way, what I showed you will solve this green cell because now you know that this is six, that's a five, that's a four, that's a three, that's a two, the green cell's a two, and that's a one. Do we have another XY chain out there? Well, let's find out. First of all, we can solve the rest of row two because of this one, that's a nine and that's a three. We can solve the rest of column two because this has to be a two. We can solve the rest of row eight because that's gotta be a nine and now that's gotta be a five. We can't solve the rest of column Eight, but we can't eliminate that four. The other thing I'd say is we can remove the three and the six right here and give you a one, four. Now let's look and do some cross hatching. Since we added so many cells in here, let's see how much we can solve just using cross hatching and see if we run into another advanced strategy. First, let's start with the fives. You'll notice with these two fives and this five, we can solve for a five right there. Okay, and then with these two fives, we can solve for a five right here. And with these two fives, we can solve for a five right there. And we finished all the fives, huh? I wonder if we can cross hash with the nines. All right, I got two nines right there. I got this nine. I can solve for a nine right there. And then with this nine and this nine, I can solve for a nine right here. And then with these two nines and this nine, I can solve for a nine right there. Cool. All right, we did that with the nines. How about the fours? Can we solve for the fours? Well, with this four, I can solve for a four right here which allows us to solve for the one and with these two fours and this four i can solve for a four here okay and with these two fours i can solve for a four right there solve for a four here and with this four i can solve for a four there and we got all of the fours how about the eights what can we do with the eights here with these two eights we can solve for an eight right there which allows us to solve for an eight right here with those two eights we can solve for an eight there and with that eight and this eight so for an eight right here, okay, this is really smooth. I think we've got all the eights. What about the, I don't know, ones? Let's try the ones now. All right, we've got these two ones, means this has to be a one. And then with this one, we can solve for one here. With these two ones and this one, I can solve for one right there. And with this one, we can solve for one right there. Awesome, okay, can we do this with the sevens? Well, we have a full house right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, we're only missing a seven, so I can solve for a seven right there. I don't see a seven block too, so that's gotta be a seven. Here's gonna be a seven. And then we got the seven right there because of this seven. 
Got a seven right there. And with these two sevens and these two sevens, we can solve for a seven right there. All right, cool. What can we do with the twos? Can we do anything with these twos? Well, this has to be a two because that's a full house, like I told you. And with this two, we can solve for a two right there. And then looks like with uh, these twos and these twos, we can solve for a two right there. And we can solve for a two right here, making this a six. Okay, can we do this with the sixes? I don't see a six in block two yet. All right. Awesome. And then with this six, I can solve for a six here, solve for a six here, solve for a six there, and solve for a six here. Okay, how about the threes? Well, I don't see a three across this row. Awesome. Three goes there, three goes there. Got a three there, and we'll finish up with another three. Check this other video out to see another Sudoku strategy that'll make your jaw drop. Thank you so much, 3Good5U, for letting me feature this puzzle on my channel. This was amazing, and I want you to keep it up. You're doing great with your solving, and I want to thank you so much for watching.